two diagrams. New Jerusalem diagram. Breastplate diagram. The New Jerusalem diagram and the breastplate diagram combined. The Passover Seder. The Passover Seder is an important aspect in our studies. Here is a quick overview. Four cups. During the Passover Seder, four cups are consumed. Each of the four cups represents a different aspect of the Israelites' journey out of Egypt. Exodus 6, verses 6 through 7. The first cup is a cup of sanctification. I will take you out. The second cup is a cup of deliverance. I will save you. This cup represents Jesus' experience on the cross. All four cups represent different aspects of his blood, but the sardius stone specifically represents blood. This is the bitter cup that Jesus took on our behalf. The third cup is the cup of redemption, or the cup of blessing. I will redeem you. The emerald stone goes with the third cup. This is communion, where we have the bread and the third cup together. The fourth cup is the cup of hope, the cup of acceptance. I will take you as a nation. 24 degrees. Each of the four cups has a place on the northern side of the diagram. This is the heavenly side. Each cup has 24 degrees. Scales. The two brass mountains, or two brass bowls, on either side of Jesus are like scales. The Lord is the center of all the scales. Everything radiates from Him. When they tilt to the Lord's left, east side, towards the altar of sacrifice, they represent judgment. When they tilt to the Lord's right, west side, they represent blessings. In Matthew 25.33, it says that he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Blessings are on the Lord's right side in the picture. This is the west side. Judgments are on the Lord's left side. This is the east side. God balances the sweetness of blessing with the bitterness of judgment. Amethyst and Jacinth the amethyst stone represents the new covenant blood and wine. The Jason stone represents living water. The two stones are on the Lord's right, west side. Jasper and Chalcedony. The red part of the Jasper stone represents the altar of sacrifice, the cross, death, and the earth. The crystal part of the Jasper stone represents heaven and worship. The Chalcedony stone represents the brass sprinkling bowl at the altar of sacrifice, as well as the brass laver that holds the water. Blood and Water In John 19.34, it says that one of the soldiers with a spear pierced his, Jesus' side, and forthwith came there out blood and water. When we look at the main miracle picture, we can see water flowing to one side of the Lord Jesus and blood to the other side. The blood resembles a whirlwind when the picture is rotated. I underlined the flow of blood with a white line. The Jason stone represents living water. There is also a dark river on our right with a crystal bubble outlined with a white box. Wine and Water During the Passover meal, both wine and water are poured into each cup. Each portion of wine is 12 degrees in the diagram. Each portion of water is 12 degrees in the diagram. Circle of the Earth It is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth. Isaiah 40.22 I added the blue circle which represents the earth. The blue circle overlaps with the main miracle picture. Jesus is the center of the picture. Blood and water flow from his side. Fallen Angels I think it is possible that a 12 degree tilt of the earth could have taken place when the angels were cast out of heaven. The center black line to the orange line is 12 degrees. 
This represents the fallen angels. Therefore, the earth would have tilted 12 degrees from its upright position. Fall of Man The earth is currently at a 23.4 to 23.5 degree tilt. The earth tilts to the east, which represents judgment. When Adam and Eve sinned, the earth may have fallen to 23.4 to 23.5 degrees, our current tilt. When I say the earth fell, I mean that the earth's tilt shifted. It would have fallen or tilted to the east, which represents judgment. Axis The axis of the earth runs north to south, connecting God in the heavens to man on the earth. Equator the equator runs east to west. This represents the harvest as well as the scales. The equator measures out the grain and drink offerings. It also measures out the barley and wheat during end times. For example, the barley represents the church, while the wheat represents Jewish believers in Jesus. The equator also shows the judgment of the tares. Tilt and Seasons as the earth tilts, we have seasons. The weather changes. There is a difference between summer and winter. I think it is possible that Noah's flood may have happened around the 23.4 degree tilt as well. Storms likely increased when the earth's tilt increased. The summers likely became hotter and the winters colder or rainier. The shift in the equator is an equal distance as the shift in the axis. Altar of Sacrifice the east side is where we find the Jasper Stone, as well as the Altar of Sacrifice, New Jerusalem Diagram. The red triangle represents the Jasper Stone and the Altar of Sacrifice, the cross. This is where judgment takes place. Judgment is to the left of the Lord, east side. Upside Down It is interesting to note that Isaiah 24 has the number 24 as its chapter reference. I don't think this is a coincidence. Remember, there are 24 degrees in each cup. Let's take a look at the first verse. In Isaiah 24.1 it says, Behold, the Lord maketh earth empty, and maketh it waste, and turneth it upside down, and scattereth abroad the inhabitants thereof. This verse reminds me of the rapture, empty, followed by the tribulation, waste. As previously noted, I believe that the earth's tilt will increase during the tribulation. This will cause chaos, and people will feel like their lives have been turned upside down. The number 24. The number 24 is connected to priests. This is a heavenly position. The four cups are on the heavenly side of the diagram. Each cup has 24 degrees. The number 24 marks the rapture. It could happen in 2024. After the rapture takes place, the church will worship and serve the Lord in the heavenly temple while the tribulation takes place on the earth. Priests, Scribes, and Judges There were 24,000 men who worked in the house of God. 1 Chronicles 23 verses 1 to 4 There were 6,000 men who were scribes and judges. 1 Chronicles 23, verses 1 to 4. The number 24 has to do with priestly work, while the number 6 has to do with judgments. Within each cup, there are slivers of 6 degrees. Example 24, 30, 36, 42, 48. The number 6 is also the number of man. We see a timetable of man's life and death within the 6 degree markers. Levi. Levi is the priestly tribe. The emerald stone represents the priestly tribe of Levi. The emerald is one of the top slivers of the New Jerusalem diagram where we find the table of showbread. Jesus is the true bread from heaven. Emerald in the breastplate. In the breastplate diagram, the emerald overlaps with the Lord's face. The emerald represents the sun. Jesus is our sunshine. Jesus is the light of the world. In this section, we see the glory of God seen in the face of Jesus. 30. The number 30 goes along with kings. Saul and David were both 30 years old when they became king. 
Joseph began to rule in Egypt when he was 30. John the Baptist and Jesus were both 30 when they began their ministries. 30 is a time of physical maturity as well as mental maturity. It is a time when people become capable of doing more challenging jobs. It is important to note that kings are associated with earthly rule. Heaven and Earth The heavenly side represents the priestly ministry. Jesus is our great high priest. The earthly side represents kings. Jesus is the king of kings. Priest and King Jesus is our great high priest. When Jesus returns, he will rule and reign as king. Jesus is the lion of the tribe of Judah, Revelation 5.5. 5. The roles of priest and king line up with Jesus' body in the main miracle picture. Pictures Sheep Gate the sheep gate overlaps with the tribe of Levi. This is where the church will enter when the catching away takes place. In John 14.3, Jesus says, I go to prepare a place for you. The church will be caught away to a heavenly place. It could even be the new Jerusalem. A sheep's pen. Each corner of the diagram resembles a sheep's pen. This is a facility for sheep which has different stations. First, there is the force pen. This is where we, God's sheep, are currently living and moving. Then we enter the working, handling chute. This is where the good shepherd will examine us. Another way to look at it is that we enter God's kingdom through Jesus. Finally, there is the holding pen. This is where we will be held in God's heavenly kingdom. Arcturus. Arcturus is a star in the constellation named Boots. It has a similar shape as a sheep's pen. It is described as the constellation of the Great Bear, perhaps from its migration through the heavens. People refer to the constellation as a herdsman. Jesus is the shepherd of Israel. In Psalm 81, it says, Give ear, O shepherd of Israel, thou that leadest Joseph like a flock, thou that dwellest between the cherubims, shine forth. Job 9 and Job 38-32 mention Arcturus. Shepherd's Staff The two lines at the bottom of the constellation in the diagram resemble a shepherd's staff. The two lines are highlighted in brown in the first diagram. Enter through Jesus. Jesus is the line with the working, handling chute. This is where the good shepherd examines the sheep. This is where we enter God's heavenly kingdom through Jesus. Shepherd Psalm In Psalm 23, it says the following, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me into the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Father of Gathering Let's take a look at the number 23, like in Psalm 23. The number 23 in the Strong's Concordance refers to gathering. Hebrew 23, Abiel, from 1 and 622, Father of Gathering, i.e. Gatherer. Hebrew 1, Ab, Father. Hebrew 6.22, Asaf, to gather for any purpose, hence to receive, take away, i.e. remove, destroy, leave behind, put up, restore, etc. Assemble, bring, consume, destroy, fetch, gather, in, together, up, again, take, away, into, up, utterly, withdraw. 
23 to 24. The current tilt of the Earth is 23.4 to 23.5 degrees to the east. Remember, east represents judgment in the diagram. Psalm 23 has the number 23, similar to the tilt of the Earth. This could represent a more pleasant time that people have been given to follow the Good Shepherd. When the catching away takes place, the Earth's tilt could increase to 24 degrees. The people who remain on the earth will still have an opportunity to know the Lord Jesus. Life on earth, however, won't be peaceful like how it is described in Psalm 23. God will still make a way for his people. The tribulation, however, will be a very difficult time, unlike anything ever experienced. Tribulation Begins the number 24 in the Strong's Concordance refers to grain and Nisan, Hebrew, and indignation, Greek. Hebrews 24, Abib, refers to an unusual root, meaning to be tender, green, i.e. a young ear of grain, hence the name of the month, Abib, or Nisan, Abib, ear, green ears of corn. Greek 24. Agonoctasis, indignation. It is possible that the tribulation could begin during the Passover 2024. This is during the Hebrew month of Nisan. Once the catching away takes place, the gathering, then the tribulation will begin a short time thereafter. There could be two months in between the two events, the rapture and the beginning of the tribulation. During the tribulation, many people on the earth will be angry and feel that what is happening is unfair. Manasseh In Genesis 40, verses 50 to 51, it says, And unto Joseph were born two sons before the years of famine came, which Asenath, the daughter of Potipharah, the priest of On, bare unto him. And Joseph called the name of the firstborn Manasseh, for God, said he, hath made me forget all my toil and all my father's house. This could be likened to the rapture when we'll be taken to a new place, a heavenly place, where life won't be difficult. We probably won't remember the sinfulness that we experienced on the earth, whether our sins or the sins of others. We will be in our heavenly father's house. It is interesting to note that Manasseh was the firstborn. Jesus is also the firstborn. Psalm 89.27 and Colossians 1.15 Joseph and Levi. The diagram shows the tribes of Israel along with Joseph's two sons, Manasseh and Ephraim. It is interesting to note that Joseph was married to the daughter of a priest. Levi is the priestly tribe next to Joseph in the diagram. Levi and Joseph both fit in the diagram at 24 degrees on the heavenly side. Manasseh in the diagram. Please note where Manasseh is in the diagram. He is in the most holy place, the center rectangle, on the north side, where we also find Jesus' face in the main miracle picture. Manasseh's section could also be the storehouse for barley, the church, when the rapture takes place. Ephraim. In Genesis 41.52 it says, And the name of the second called he Ephraim, for God hath caused me to be fruitful in the land of my affliction. Being fruitful in the land of affliction could be likened to the Jewish people during the tribulation. The Jewish people are the wheat harvest. They are God's natural children. The tribulation will take place on the earth, which is natural. The temple in Jerusalem is a building made with hands. Seven years. In Genesis 41 verses 53 to 54 says, And the seven years of plenteousness that was in the land of Egypt were ended. And the seven years of dearth began to come, according as Joseph had said. And the dearth was in all lands, but in all the land of Egypt there was bread. There were seven years of plenty, then there were seven years of lack. The seven years of famine could be likened to the seven years of tribulation. Natural and Spiritual in this particular diagram, the church is taken away both naturally and spiritually to a place that the Lord has prepared in advance. As previously noted, this happens at 24 degrees. When the church is taken away, the rapture, the earth may tilt to 24 degrees east. 
the church will be in a heavenly place. Meanwhile, the earth and its inhabitants will experience judgment. That is why the earth's tilt will increase to the east. Elul The placement of the Hebrew month of Elul is fascinating. It is in the same place as the Lord's face. Here we find late summer and early autumn. Elul is the last month of the civil calendar. It is the sixth month of the sacred calendar. During this time, a blowing of the shofar takes place every weekday after morning services. The sound of the shofar is supposed to rouse us from complacency and jolt us to repentance. Some consider Elul to be a time to take account of the soul. When two people have had a falling out, oftentimes their backs are towards one another. This represents that they aren't able to work things through at that moment. At the end of Elul, however, the two people are face to face as they resolve their differences. Isn't it fascinating that we can see Jesus' face in the main miracle picture in this section of the diagram? It is also where we find the emerald stone which represents the bread of the face. When the catching away takes place, the church will be face to face with the Lord Jesus. Barley Harvest A 24 degree tilt to the west, tilting to our left, corresponds with the barley harvest. The green dotted line represents the sickle. The axis and equator are always perpendicular to one another. This forms a 90 degree angle. Since the diagram highlights a spiritual example, the blue circle of the earth has not been included. Barley Season The green dotted line overlaps with the barley harvest season. The barley harvest represents the catching away of the church. 24 Elders It is believed that Revelation chapter 4 represents the church in heaven after the rapture during the tribulation. In Revelation 4.4 4 it says, And round about the throne were four and twenty-four seats, and upon the seats I saw four and twenty-four elders sitting, clothed in white raiment, and they had on their heads crowns of gold. Some people believe that the twelve sons of Israel, the twelve tribes, and the twelve apostles make up the twenty-four elders. Matthew 24.30 In Matthew chapter 24, while on the Mount of Olives, Jesus describes his second coming. In Matthew 24, 30, it says, And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. The number 24 represents Jesus as our great high priest. The number 30 represents Jesus as the King of Kings. Mountains There are eight mountains in the diagram. Please note that Mount Tabor is in the same section as Jesus' face. This is also where we find the Hebrew month of Elul. Mount Tabor Mount Tabor is in the same section as the Sardius and Emerald Stones. The Sardius represents blood, while the Emerald represents bread. According to the Strong's Concordance, the Hebrew word Tabar means broken region. A root word, Tabar, which means to be fragile or broken. Another root word, shabar, which is to burst, break, down, off, in pieces, up, broken-hearted, crush, and destroy. Ground down. There's something significant about grinding manna or incense down to its smallest form. It is likely to do with Jesus' sacrifice on our behalf. Every sin, every evil thought or desire was taken by the Lord Jesus for us. In 2 Corinthians 5.21 it says, For he hath made him to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. First Cup Since the rapture is a blessing, the tilt is to the west. It goes along with the first cup that says, I will take you out. When the catching away takes place, the church will be taken from the earth to a heavenly place. We left the blue circle of the earth out of this example. The earth will continue to tilt to the east, not to the west, when the rapture takes place. 48 degrees The catching away rapture begins at 24 degrees. It ends at 48 degrees. This is the first cup 
I will take you out. The church will experience a natural taking away, where God will glorify each person's body. The church will also experience a spiritual taking away. The natural is represented at 24 degrees east. The spiritual is represented at 24 degrees west. Fourth cup. The fourth cup balances the first cup. The Lord balances bitterness and sweetness in the diagram. Judgment, bitterness, is on his left, which is to the east. Blessing, sweetness, is on his right, which is to the west. The fourth cup represents the time of the tribulation, when God will take his people as a nation. The first and fourth cups are at 48 degrees. Adar The orange dotted line axis is at a 48 degree tilt to the west. It touches the corner of Adar. Adar is the sixth month of the civil calendar. Adar is in the last month of the sacred calendar. Adar and Elul are always six months apart. They represent a halfway point. Adar and Purim defined. A root word for Adar is the Hebrew word Adar, which means to expand, be great, magnificent, become glorious, honorable. The Feast of Purim takes place in the month of Adar. Let's take a look at the Hebrew word for Purim and Pur. Hebrew 63.32, Pur, from 63.31, a lot, as by means of a broken piece. Pur, Purim, Hebrew 63.31, Pur, to crush, break, bring to naught, utterly take. Ulul and Adar. Ulul represents restored relationship. When the rapture takes place, the church will be face to face with the Lord Jesus. The church will serve God in the heavenly temple. Purim, which takes place in the month of Adar, represents fellowship within a community. During the tribulation, God's people on the earth will feel broken. It will be a time for the nation of Israel to come together and look to God. Just as Esther helped save her people from Haman, God will deliver Israel from the evil deeds of the Antichrist during the tribulation. Purim represents great joy, especially within a community. The people will celebrate their salvation. North to South The month of Adar is broken into two segments in the diagram. The first line runs north to south, similar to the axis of the earth. This line is vertical. It connects God in heaven to his people on the earth. The line is blue in this example. It represents the catching away of the church. Since the orange dotted line, 48 degrees west on the axis, touches the bottom point of the blue line, it is possible that the rapture will take place near the end of February. Adar and Barley The history of the two months of Adar may have to do with the barley harvest. If the barley wasn't ripening fast enough, the people considered it to be a leap year. Therefore, an additional month was added. The extra month would give the barley time to grow. Plus, the beginning of Nisan would be delayed, so the Passover would fall at the correct time. Equator intersects with Nisan. The white arrow highlights the fourth cup. This is the axis. The colors of the equator go along with the colors of the axis. The axis and equator form a 90 degree angle. In the diagram, the equator intersects with the month of Nisan. As the equator tilt increases, judgments take place. In the diagram, the equator begins at a 24 degree tilt, green line. Then, the tilt increases to 30 degrees, purple, 36 degrees, blue, 42 degrees, yellow, and 48 degrees, red. Tribulation begins. The green and purple equator lines intersect with Nissan on the east side. The blue line separates Nisim from Adar. This is a 36 degree tilt. Passover is in Nisim. The tribulation could begin during the Passover in the month of Nisim, green and purple equator lines on the east. The purple line to the blue line represents the beginning of the tribulation. Purple is at a 30 degree tilt. The blue line is at a 36 degree tilt. The blue line represents winter in the diagram. It crosses over to connect with spring.
mid-tribulation. The blue equator line to the yellow equator line on the east side represents the mid-tribulation. The yellow line is at a 42 degree tilt. The yellow line intersects with a dar in the diagram. During the tribulation, God's people will feel broken. It will be a time for the nation of Israel to come together and look to God. Just as Esther helped save her people from Haman, God will deliver Israel from the evil deeds of the Antichrist during the tribulation. Tribulation ends. The yellow equator line to the red equator line represents the end of the tribulation. The red line is at a 48 degree tilt. In light of the diagram, the earth will be at a 48 degree tilt at the end of the tribulation. In the diagram, 48 degrees represents the fourth and final cup, when God will take Israel as a nation. The red equator line intersects with Adar, Purim, as well as Sivan, first fruits. 48 degrees west. After the tribulation, when Jesus returns, the earth may shift to 48 degrees west. This represents blessings. It is possible that the earth may begin to rotate in the opposite direction as well. The picture in the lower right-hand corner has been cropped from one of the universe pictures. It appears to have a 48 degree tilt. First universe picture. There are two universe pictures. It looks like fire is falling to the earth in the lower right-hand corner of the middle picture. This could represent the tribulation. There are also angels in this picture. Second universe picture. This is the second universe picture. We already took a look at the resurrected earth at a 48 degree tilt. There is also an amazing angel picture near the new earth. True and righteous. In Revelation 16, 7 it says, And I heard another angel out of the altar say, Even so, Lord God Almighty, true and righteous are thy judgments. Psalm 24, verses 7 to 9. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lift up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in.